Hello, my friends. Well, this is the video you're about to watch. This is the next day, and it's quite different from where I left it in the video. I had a lot of, um, I had too much paint on there. I had to do a lot more tilting, and I'm more pleased with the composition now. So I learned a couple of things. Um, for one thing, I think it helped to mix up the cloud mix and let it sit for a while. This was about a week later, same cloud mix that I used on this one. Now this one I mixed up the mix and used it the same day. And while I like this, I'm, I'm pleased with it, this is more of the look I was hoping to get, puffier clouds. And I think it may have to do with the, uh, the mix sitting around for a while. There are many variables, of course, temperature, the, the paints you use, um, the way it's applied, all sorts of variables. But I'm thinking that letting it sit around did something to the properties in that mix, and I was more successful. So, for what it's worth, those are my two cents worth, and uh, now let's get to the video. Hello, my friends. I'm going to do another cloud pour today. I want to use up the cloud mix I used when I made this one. It's dry, but it's not yet varnished, and I think it came out pretty nice. It'll be very pretty varnished when this gold that's running throughout will come to life. So that's that. Today I'm going to be working on a square canvas, a deep one. My colors are Payne's Gray, Creative Inspirations. I've got Golden Hour by Arteza, Pearl Golden Hour, and Arteza's Pearl Chartreuse. And then I've got some Manganese Blue, to which I by Soho, to which I've added a little bit of white to lighten it up ever so slightly and as I said, I'm using up the rest of my cloud pour mix from the other day. I'll put all the recipes, exact colors, and ratios down below in the description box. So, let's get to it. I'm going to start with the, the um, Paints Gray, because I love a dark center. Paints gray, and then I think this blue would be nice. Maybe a little cloud mix. It's been sitting around for a week. I did cover it up, but I don't know um, if it lasts, so we shall see. Golden hour. I have a big thank you to give to one of my viewers, Elizabeth S. I won't even attempt to pronounce her last name, but also to provide anonymity. I will just say Elizabeth S. She was very, very generous in my tip jar, thanking me for instruction, and I truly appreciate your generosity and Encouragement, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. It was a big surprise to me, believe me. <laughs> okay. That's everything. Oh, this is a plastic cup, so I can't make a spout out of it. But, oops. Oh, maybe I can, kind of. I'm just going to pretty much do a straight pour. Don't 
turn my wrist. I'm holding the cup about uh, three inches above the canvas. Here comes some white, finally. Yeah, I just don't know if um, having the cloud mix sit around for any length of time. I didn't have it in a, an airtight container, but I did cover it with uh, plastic wrap. I don't know if it lost its ability to create effects or not. It seems to be doing something. Uh, you know what, I'm going to let this sit for a bit. I think it's... Slide it over a little bit. I'm going to pause. Instead of having you sit and stare at this for five minutes, I'm going to pause for five minutes and come back and we'll see how it looks. And then uh, we'll finish tilting. Okay, well, it has been just about exactly five minutes, and I think you can see that some more little bouldery cloud shapes have appeared. I'm very happy with the dark, uh, the Payne's Gray that um, is staying central. Now let's move it around and see what else we can get. Aren't those cute over there? Look at that. Come back. Kind of pretty in there. I like the dark there. I'm going to Slowly go there and then pull it back if I can. Come back, come back. Oh, I'm liking that section very much. And there where the dark shows through the lighter blue. That's pretty. All right. Okay, now we have coverage and we'll, I'm going to set it down and size up the composition. Hmm. I wonder if I hit it with a torch if uh, anything's going to happen. Let's try that. right-handed because my left hand has more paint on it. Not a whole lot. Some bubbles popping, that's about it. Okay. I 
there any shapes here I don't like? I don't love that one, but it all oh, looks like a hand almost or something. <laughs> um, that one's a little odd, but um, I like the dark and I don't really want to lose too much of this. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to that, though. And then back. Maybe I can get rid of that questionable one. There we go. Kind of fun. That's the orientation that I was seeing it in. I think I probably like that best. Yeah, I think I like that the way you're seeing it now. I think I'm happy with it. Um, got nice movement throughout. No terribly obscene shapes. I very much like the center area here. Maintain some dark here and light there. That's nice balance. Yeah, I think it's good. Let me bring you in for a closer look. These colors are pretty together. That really looks like snow, doesn't it? <laughs> It'll be pretty when the, when the gold dries. Really like that center area. There's some interesting shapes. I'll let it sit for a while and then um, I'll take a picture and post it at the end after about 10 minutes and you'll be able to see if there's any changes. We may get some more cloudy cloud forms as it sits for a while now that it's been stretched out. I think I want to make this a little more curved. You know, you look at it from one perspective and you just see something you want to change. So I just want to, if I can, curve this part there without losing. Look at that. It's just going straight. There's too much. There's a lot of weight right there. So I'm going to come this way oh, for Pete's sake. I can never leave well enough alone. All right. I can see where the weight of the paint is. Okay. Now the weight of the paint is here. So now it should do more of what I want it to do. I may let that go way over. I think I like that better. Okay, now we're really stopping. 
Thank you for joining me, my friends. See you next time.